Okay, this is part two of uh, the video. I don't know the title, but I'm talking to you ladies specifically about fake maintenance people coming to your place. And before I forget this, what the, what they'll do is, okay, every maintenance person is not a bad person. So what they'll do, or if they are, you get these, these workout orders where I am. So they will um, generate these work orders. You call the apartments or you go online and tell them, uh, I need my, my uh, what is this, shower head fixed. Okay, they will disseminate and give that to whomever that works for the company, maintenance. If that maintenance person doesn't want to come out that they gave it to, it's usually because they don't want to be seen. They don't want you to see their face. And if they don't, if that's not it, they don't want you to see that. If it's not that they don't want you to see their face, they want someone else to come out and do the work. Okay, basically same thing because they don't want to be seen. So they will send some karmic. They'll take the ticket. But the person that actually comes in your apartment to fix it after they've gotten the tickets for that day, what they have to do, the work orders, they will send one of their karmic cousins or one of their karmic friends to come out and do the work. This is not professionally done. And these spaces, let me finish what I was saying in the last video. When he finished this completely, I thought this just had to dry. So I gave it a day and I'm like, okay. And then I, I, I didn't pay attention to it. It's covered up with the shower curtain. But when I looked at it again, I noticed, I'm like, okay, this should have been dried by now. And this is the result. This has been two months and this is how it looks. The reason why this idiot left this like this is because, um, he wanted them to be able to see me from upstairs in these spaces. Now, I'm going to show you something else, too. This one I want you guys to notice. Watch the lighting of, watch the just watch the lighting. I'm going from left to right. Let me see if you guys notice any changes. Right there. Hold on, let me do it again. See how it's light? It got this light. Notice the light getting dark. There it goes. Dark, 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 dark. Light again. But it really didn't get light. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It didn't. Check it out. I'm going back. Notice the, 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 notice the lighting. So I'll talk you through it. Okay, so let's start here. Dark. It just got dark. Did y'all notice that? Let me do it again. Bing. Dark. 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 Ooh, it got real dark. Did you guys see that? My camera is not messed up. The phone is not hot at all. None of that. The battery from the back. Oh, there we go. It's getting lighter. See how it's going up and down? This is more interference. Look at look at video one, number one. Okay. Your phone will tell a story, you guys. It will let you know what is going on. Your the camera on your phone, which is the easiest thing to get to. See how that's dark? It wasn't even dark right here um, when I came through just a few just a minute ago. It was here that it started getting dark. Now, look, look, that's not me. You see how it's changing? Light, dark, light. This is real time, y'all. Now, when y'all see it, won't be real time. But it's real time for me doing this video. Wow. Video. Wow. Now I'm going to step back. Real light, real light. You see that it's light, but it, even though it just flickered. Dark. Look, light. Dark. It shouldn't be doing that, you guys. If you notice behind you, the lighting is still the same, basically. The reflection is sure not going to do that because of that reflection. That little spot right there, the little lit spot here. 
That has nothing to do with it. It's called interference. Cameras. Okay. All right. But once again, this is not professionally done. I've shown this to um, uh, several people and they were like, what? Yeah, he did this. Had I, and he did this so that they can still see me. He probably was either paid under the table because he, he, there it goes. It just did it again. Now, this was dark and I light and I stepped back and it's still, you guys, just be careful. So I was going to show you guys my front door, same thing. They were supposed to have been fixing my front door. I'm going to cover this up because I'm moving it. Yeah, they were supposed to be fixing my front door and putting the metal plates around my front door. Okay. And I put my oil burner here so maybe you guys can see. Let me get it closer to the door. Okay. No, you're not going to be able to see it. But let me tell you what happened. This idiot, some other dude I had never seen before was supposed to put a metal plate here, the kind that goes all the way around the doorknobs. Okay. If you look here, oh, great. You can see it. It was one that used to be here before I moved in, obviously. There's there's the, the silhouette of it. Okay. There's not one here, but you, it looks like it's one there, but it's not because someone took it off. <laughs> and now that I'm moving, I can just about imagine who did that. You know, stuff just doesn't dawn on you until it's like hindsight, retrospect. You know what I'm saying? You don't think about it and think about it. You just all of a sudden think it's the previous person took it off or whatever. But now that I'm sitting here doing this video, it could have been the idiots that came in my place, gang stalkers, before I moved in and took this plate off. Easier access. Why did this fool uh, fix my, do my thing and fix it? I told him, if you're not going to fix it right, don't do it at all. He actually cut this. And, and then a maintenance guy came right after him. He said he would be back in two hours. He did not come back in two hours. I mean, after lunch, he did not come back until three hours later, excuse me. But before he came back, it was another guy um, putting stuff on people's doors or something. Cause it was a little thing, right? A little piece of, of metal sticking out right here that was cutting my hand why would you cut that dude and then he comes back when he does come back he fills this in with white stuff because it's a it's a, it's a it's a i don't know if you guys can see my yeah you can see my finger right up through here all the way down is a a space so he calls himself filling this in instead of bringing the damn plate and, and it's funny before he went to lunch i said why did you, why do you bring such a short plate? As you can see, they have the bigger ones. Oh, oh, I'll see what I don't see. So let me tell you guys what happened. After he came to see what was wrong with my door, he left. He already knew what was wrong with it, but he had to see it. He actually cut that. The reason why it's cut is because it would give someone easier access to get into my door with a crowbar or something. Okay, that is supposed to go all wrap all the way around this door to here. But here's the issue. The reason why he was going to come back after lunch was because of the size of it as well. Why would you bring first? First of all, first, first, first of all, I'm trying to let me get it together. I didn't even know that he this was cut. Okay, let me say until after he went to lunch and I looked at it. But what I did notice was the size of it. So what he did, okay, it's, 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 it came back to me. It was not cut until after he went to lunch because I, I would have said something. He went to lunch and came back and, and put it on there. It was cut, okay? Me probably in the kitchen doing something, wasn't paying attention, but it was cut. So when I noticed that it was, it was cut, I said, why would you put that on there like that? Do you know what I'm saying? Where, where's the rest of it? Uh, bleep, 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 you know, bleep, 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 how you do your bottom lip, you know, with your finger. So he was supposed to go back and get a bigger one and he never came back. That's what it was. Okay. 
He never, after he came back from lunch, after three hours, he never came back. Inside job. Inside job. Don't make your shit so obvious. And these two people who did these two karmic things in my apartment, but actually it was three of them. I'll tell you about the third one. Nobody knows who they are. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the main maintenance people here, Hispanic guy, Martin, I told Martin, Martin, I showed him my door. He wasn't here, but he was at someone else's apartment and he came to see what I was talking about. He was outside doing some work for someone else. Let me say that. And or about to do some work or working on something. And I, I got his attention and he came, uh, you know, ne- the, the building next door. No big deal. So he came to see what I was talking about and I showed it to him. And he was like literally scratching his head. Literally. Like who would put that on there? And I said, man, look at this right here, man. And he was like, what? And so what he did was. I t- this, he said, who was it? And I said, a tall guy. He was a tall guy. And he said, tall guy. He said, I'm the only tall guy that works for the company that works here, you know, for the company or however, however he said it. And then I said, this was a tall guy, real tall. And, um, he said, everybody else is, she said, let, let me finish what he said. He said, I'm the only tall guy or tall person that works for the company. I'm paraphrasing. He said, everybody else is shorter than I am. I said, no, this was a tall guy, tall, skinny dude. And he's looking like who, what? Yeah. And I said, look how he did my door, man. What, what? He said, man, he said, I, I, I don't even know who that dude is coming out the horse's mouth. This is maintenance. Me and this guy are pretty, pretty, pretty close. Mart, I know Martin. Okay. He didn't even know who this guy is, this tall guy. So let me tell you what they're doing. They're taking these work orders, these idiots that are in gang stalking, these maintenance men, taking these work orders from the office, but giving the work to somebody else on the outside, making you think that it's their maintenance and they're not. If someone were to come in and rape that woman, based on what I just said, who was that guy? Oh, y'all feeling me? Now he comes in and now they changed their little tune because I have a video where I was videoing uh, and I posted this video up and someone knocked on my door on one weekend on like a Saturday or something or late Friday. I don't forgot. I forgot. And he didn't have any to fix my ceiling in the bathroom. <laughs> there we go. And, and mind you, they were supposed to do that entire bathroom. They never came back because that would have revealed a story, wouldn't it? Considering my neighbors are spying on me above my head from their freaking apartment. But when he, um, when he came back, when he, when this guy knocked on my door, rather, he didn't have anything in his hands, nothing. And I want you guys to notice the interference here. I slept here last night. Ooh, we look at that interference. I'm glad my TV is on. Don't look at the light from the TV. Just look at the fucking interference. Look, woohoo. Oh my God. Look at that. Yeah, I slept here last night. You guys right here from this, from where that light is all the way. And I had four big, a, a thick blanket that was doubled. Okay, (laughs) California King, California King with another blanket and they could see everything I was doing. Oh, she's covering her face back up. Look at that freaking interference. Good God Almighty. Wow, look at that. Oh my God. Wow. This whole section. Look at all this interference, you guys. Look at that. This whole freaking section. I'm going around. Now look. Even though, oh no, it's still there. Wow, this whole freaking area. 
except for there. But it's there, but not as bad. You can see it at the top. Oh, there it goes. It was here all along. It's just the TV wasn't letting, it, you know, how the TV light will change according to what they're showing. Look at this, y'all. Interference. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, my God. Interference. Interference. This is amazing. I want you guys to see this. All you got to do is get your freaking camera out on your cell phone and point it up, turn it on and start recording and just start moving around in your place. You guys, I'm going to tell you, you're going to see some interference if you're being gang stalked. This is amazing. Wow. Makes sense. I'm not shocked. You guys, when I'm saying, wow, because this would be an area. In other words, I already, in other words, I already knew <laughs> to sum that up. It's just, this is a lot. OMG. So ladies, to sum this up, <laughs> ladies, be careful. This is, I, I can't get over all of this magnetic interference. I cannot get over all this interference in here. But I'm moving and I'm going to make sure that whom, whomever moves in this apartment is going to know that they're being spied on. This whole, this whole apartment is just on fleek. Look at that, y'all. Wow. So ladies, um, sum that up. You guys be careful. Um, if they, if they're just letting any, any, and their friends come in and do the work. And this is mostly because in most cases, they don't want it. They don't want their face to be seen. Okay. They don't want you to see them. Okay. So they'll have their friends, uh, come in and do things and, and probably attempt to do something to you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sit down. Okay. Probably attempt to do something to you. You're thinking it's maintenance because they have on um, their uh, uniforms. And I'm going to tell you what I've noticed here. Werner, W-E-H-N-E-R, -E was the property management company for the apartment complex I moved from. Werner, same name, was the property manager here. Not the manager, but property manager. Two different things. Okay. And Werner went out of business. We got a notice that Werner was out of business. No, 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 no. We didn't get a notice. We did not get a notice. I called Werner and had left them at, they never returned phone calls. Bad, which is probably why they went out of business. Bad, bad, bad property management company. And uh, I think they had like one star. If you look them up on Google or, or to, to look for their phone number, um, it's a one out of five. But here's the deal. Warner <laughs> calling them one day. Ooh, I had to yawn. Excuse me. Found out that they went out of business. Yeah. So Werner is no longer the property manager here. And I think we got a notice of who the new property manager is for the complex. Why is it that these people still, some of these uh, people that's in maintenance still have Werner jackets? Okay. I've seen the porter, P-O-R-T-E-R. The porter, which is the person that goes around, they may have other jobs, but they go around picking up the trash around in the area. I've seen this guy several times and each time I've seen him, he has on a Werner jacket. Werner is out of business. And when you call that number, it's going to tell you that Werner stopped, has ceased doing business as of, oh, this is April, May. It may say January something. Call him unless they've taken the message off.
It did not say Werner moved to another uh, building. This is our new address, blah, blah, blah. They said Werner has ceased doing business. And I'm paraphrasing. In other words, no longer in business. Okay, what's up with that? Why do you have a Werner jacket on? Now, he hasn't done anything to me that I know of. I'm, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just making a point. You guys be careful. I'm going to sum this up, you guys. Um, to see this front door, I have a video that I need to publish up showing my front door. I uh, don't know the title yet. You guys just, just stay tuned. I've got several videos to post up. Okay. So, and I'm rubbing my eyes because I'm a little sleepy. Yeah. It's my last day here. Oh, my last night night here. <laughs> Yay! And you guys pray for me and keep me in your prayers. Um had to do some maneuvering. I really did because this was um even though I was given a 30-day notice and and I don't even know why I have to move out. That's the thing. 30-day notice. I was given a 30-day notice to move out. Um and so it, for me that was not enough time, but for God it was. Now coming up, <laughs> coming up on the agenda, you guys, I have so much to post in lieu of the 20 videos or whatever I said earlier that I have to post. I've got so much to post and see there was things I could not do here in my apartment. I couldn't post like I wanted to post. I had internet service and had to get rid of it, you know, like a year and a half ago, two years ago, just a lot of stuff going on, you know, the continuous stuff, but I'm out of it. Um, and when it comes to my gang stalking and everything, in other words, I figured out the last chapters of the gang stalking book. The gang stalking victim book. I've closed the book. And what I say, but what I mean by that, you guys, I have videos coming up where I am going to talk to you guys about what type of cell phones you should be using. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to you guys about what type of cell phones you should be using. I'm going to talk about what cell phones your your uh, significant other should be using. Both of you should be using the same cell phone. I'm going to talk about why you guys should not let people with book bags come around you. If you're walking and you all of a sudden see someone approaching you, all of it, or you're, you're standing still, you could be walking. Can it happen to me today? I'm, I'm walking to the grocery store and I see uh, two uh, uh, teenagers, whatever, of Hispanic descent. Just come out as soon as they saw me here, they come out the woodwork walking past me. And then here comes an even younger one. I'm crossing the street, you know, it, that's, it, that ends at, a, at a, a major street, a T makes a T. So I'm going down the major street and I'm crossing over this street, you know, to get to the other side, going to the store. And here comes an even younger teenager messing with his phone walking around in front of me and walked and walked and walked and walked and walked. And well, honey, let me tell you what you did. You got in front of me. And although I did have my battery in my phone, I've taken my battery out of my phone I, and, and taken the SIM card, pushed it up far, so far where it won't, where it won't fall out. This young dude couldn't have been more than nine years old. And it chills me. It's amazing. And I'm going to get on Hispanics. I got to say it and I'm not going to bite my tongue. Stop getting your freaking kids involved in your in your clown ex. I am so I got to say it because this is not the first time you guys trust me. Trust me. When I first realized I'm being spy, I'm being spied on you guys at that apartment complex. My first apartment complex after living in a shelter. You guys you have no clue how the main one of the major players that was putting this app or whatever on these people's phones was a guy in high school like in the 11th grade okay <laughs> that had his hair kind of shorter on both sides and longer in the top kind of curly fluffy hair um hispanic dude uh, or of hispanic descent and he was the one that was putting the the info or the app or whatever it was on people's phones so they could spy on me in my apartment. And they were paying him for that. This is how they're making money. Being nosy 
wanting to see what stuff that they normally wouldn't be able to see. Seeing women taking their freaking clothes off and taking baths and shit. And they don't even know they're being spied on the whole fucking time. And guess what? Before I go. A plethora of these women have children. Yeah. When was the last time you heard about a pedophile being arrested? Hmm. You probably won't. Because what they're doing, this is organized crime, is watching these children in the privacy of their home from the dark web. And they don't have anything on their computers. They don't have anything on their computers. Did I say they don't have anything on their computers? They're not using Google. And if they're not using the dark web, let me back up. It doesn't have to be the dark web. It's just cameras, Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Your little baby, you're changing your baby's diaper, newborn baby. Oh, she's so cute. He's so fat, little fat thighs. And yeah, she's being looked at right there every time you change her diaper, right there in the same area that you change her diaper in her little diaper area. Look up, look up. And last thing I'm going to leave you guys with this, speaking of look up. I've told you guys to go outside and make most of your phone calls if, 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 if you can. But most importantly, when you're changing your passcodes on stuff using your phone, don't do that shit in your apartment. Do it at work, in the bathroom, at your job. I mean, come on, something. Go on a different floor. If you got, if you're in a high rise building, don't go to your bathroom. Not saying, ooh, we're watching on her, watching her that hard. You never know. Uh, they will do that. You guys, I'm, I'm, and, and one, another video I got coming up, by the way, is a video of how they will get jobs. I'm going to just remember, remember that. And this is a side note for me, how they will get jobs at places you do business with. Ooh, I got a story to tell you about that. Mm, two stories, actually. Um, but yeah, you go to a different floor. If you, if you work on the fifth floor, go to the, go to the sixth floor, seventh floor. And change your passcodes. Do everything in private, man. I'm telling you, do all your stuff in private because these idiots are out here in droves and they're out to kill and they're out to see you and they're out to see you because they feel like they can fucking see you whenever they get ready. And once one has attached himself to you, such as this idiot that lives above my head, psycho narcissist, my psycho fans, and, then, and he's not the only one up there, okay? And let me give the address while I'm at it, <laughs> which I will be doing a lot in the future because I am moving, but I was already doing 5108 Southampton Road, like as, as in Hampton, Virginia, but it's Hampton Road, number 29 F Dallas, Texas, 75232. Yeah. And I got to get that license plate number. It's G something. I have it. I took a picture of it. I'm not playing with her. I mean... You know, I've, I've, I've even said in here recently, you know, packing and getting ready to leave. And even before packing, I guess over the last month, itch, you came in here. You came, not in my apartment, but, I, but, but, but really in my apartment. Listen to what I'm saying. She came in this situation knowing why she was moving in that apartment. Yeah. She came into this knowing Full well that she was going to be spying on me in my apartment. Mm -hmm. So my girl, and before I go, I'm going to sing a song. My girl, um, Rochelle Pharrell has a song called Coulda Fooled Me. And I hope I sing this right because, you know, I, I, I murder the hits, y'all. I don't say <laughs> it's those songs that you thought you knew the lyrics to the whole time and you didn't know the lyrics. <laughs> and you just knew those were the lyrics. She fooled me, you guys. When I saw this, um, this idiot and I'm going to call her what she is. I thought this woman was a school teacher and I thought that because I, I told him in the office, the, the previous, previous staff. 
I said, don't y'all put any more of these young people in this building, blah, 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 you know, and pretty close to the office staff. And they, they, they listened to me. They put in a, a couple that I'm pretty close to or whatever, um, in the building. And, you know, I'm like, who, but when I saw her, I literally thought she was a school teacher. Y'all, she fooled the hell out of me. I, it takes a lot to fool me. And I can say, and I've told her this, not to her face, but <laughs> she can hear me. I can hear her. I can hear 85% of what they're saying. But this song is called Could Have Fooled Me. Could Have could have, could have Fooled Me by Rochelle Farrell. Could Have Fooled Me. Turned out I was wrong. You knew all along that one day you'd be leaving. Now, don't listen to that last part. Could Have Fooled Me. I was so secure, comfort and what is that part? She she say, how can you be assured and then then be unsure? Calm, I'm gonna say it. Com- <laughs> comfort and unsure. Did you be? No, see, I done got off track, y'all. Mm. Mm, could have fooled me Turned out I was wrong You knew all along That one day you'd be leaving You could have fooled me I was so secure Comfort and I'm going to say pure How about that? And so pure you believe in yeah i'm gonna to, i'm gonna shut that one down because every time i try to figure out the word i miss how it's supposed to go anyway i'm gonna speaking of going i'm gonna go um but yeah check out my girl rochelle for real that's my girl that's oh we favorite singer mm. hands down i get some this is right behind her that were my favorite singer i i, I have some favorite singers you guys but but Rochelle Pharrell is your is your favorite singer singer. <laughs> your favorite singer's favorite singer. Let me say it right. Yeah, everybody you know that knows Rochelle Pharrell falls in love with her. The woman is in, is 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 amazing. And if you look her up on YouTube, it's R A C H E L L E. Yeah, Rochelle Pharrell, F-E-R-R-E-L-L, okay? There's a lot of double letters in there, okay? So, got to go. And I and, and speaking of, of Rochelle Pharrell, you guys didn't know this, some of you, but I have a playlist called uh, uh, Kimmy Covers with a K, K-O-V-E-R-S. And Kimmy Covers is actually me covering some songs. You guys, check out that playlist on YouTube. And I actually cover one of Rochelle's um, songs called Peace on Earth or La, La, La. Back up, back up, back up. Everything I just told you was true, except for I did not cover Rochelle Farrell's song in that playlist. I covered Rochelle Farrell's song in a video um, called Pastor Reverend Dr. Deacon Don and Sister Johnson. And guess what? There's another pastor, Reverend Dr. Deacon Don and Sister Johnson coming up soon. Sister Johnson's niece just got out of prison, y'all, and she raised her (laughs) and she's going to church. She wants to go to church. Okay. Okay. She raised her in the church and she went, you know, to the left as we some, we will sometimes do, but you guys have to hear that one. And it's just going to be from the straight, straight from the top of my dome as all of my Pastor Reverend Dr. Deacon Dunn's and Sister Johnson's are. I just come up with a topic and I just grab the camera. Okay. So, Cortico, hasta la vista. Buenas tardes, buenas noches. Arriva, Dolce, Afra, Fuasalita. Don't let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord split you. Chao, Bela, Chao, Belo. Smooches, gotta go. Peace. Well, bye and peace. Okay. Can you see my fingers? But if I forgot something in the video where I started saying something and didn't finish it, you guys, um, uh, there will be a pinned comment. Okay, bye.